Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing 2018 Topps Series 1 Baseball. Are we already getting 2018 stuff? It's a six box jumbo. Right here, so there it is, Series 1 Baseball, six box. Actually, I'll just write jumbo here so we can spot the difference. Uh, six box random division number one jumbo. So there are the names involved in the break. There are the divisions. Uh, AL West, Central East, AL West, Central East, good. And and, and all that is. Let's roll the dice for both lists. So names 10 times and divisions 10 times, six and a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Mary Lou down to Jordan. And then once again, six and a four, 10 times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. AL West down to the NL Central. Uh, feel free to trade if you'd like, although in divisionals, I rarely see trades happen. But you could make it happen if you'd like. So Mary Lou with the AL West, William with the AL East, Dennis with the AL Central, Derek with the NL West, Eric with the NL East, and Jordan with the NL Central with your last spot mojo. Let's alphabetize by division, and let's print this guy out. I don't think there's going to be any trades. Eric, William, are you guys going to trade? If you're not, then I guess that's two out of six not trading that decreases the permutations of trades that could happen. So uh, I don't know who's on this checklist for 2018. So CardboardConnection.com has blah, 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 silver packs. Uh, Clint Frazier's in it. Some nice inserts. So vet base doesn't ship, but everything else will. Oh, yeah, they got relics in here this year, too. All right, cool. Did they put Otani in this set? No, they did not. But there's a quick look at the checklist right here of who you can, who you can potentially get. There's a lot of variations there too. So a lot of fun stuff here. Doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, some Derek Jeters in there too. All right. Oh, there's codes. All right, I'll, I'll print this out for the. I'll, I'll make this. I'll, I'll make the shipping team do this. Make, I'll make them do it. How many pages was that? I feel like there was a lot of pages. All right. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. Cancel all documents. Sorry, folks. I didn't realize I was I was about to print 88 pages of this. I don't want to print that many pages.
Sorry about that. All right, so there's the final list right there. I also need more toner there, too. Be, for the first of the month. It's the first of the month. can't believe that. We're also going to be giving away these, too. What did the, what did the rules say? I think every, every person that got a spot in Series 1 will get you two of these, sil of these uh, silver packs right here. These Series 1 silver packs. And... Um, yeah, each spot will get you two of these. So we'll ship these to you sealed along with whatever. Hopefully we'll have hits to ship you too. All right. It did. CO Turtle did. I'm glad I took care of it. All right. I've been shaking it. I've been shaking it. I, th I, think, I think it's time to change. Yeah, I, I, know, I know the shake toner trick. I was not born yesterday. But that's what I've been doing, and it's still now it's still it's still streaking. So maybe time, my Klaus. It may be time. All right, there's two, four, and six jumbo boxes. We've got this trout on the cover, one autograph, and two relic cards per box in every jumbo. There you go. Good luck, everybody. I don't think we have, I don't think we've ever done a group break of series one, to be honest with you. Take a look at the first first pack, just a little slowly, just so you can see what this series one is all about. I'm assuming all these are base cards. How will I be able to tell if there's any numbered cards here? I'm assuming they'll be a little obvious. Oh, nice, these are pretty cool, right? I always like the photography on the on these sets too. Nice stuff. Always dig the uh, classic series one look. All right, so now let's start. Let's start breathing through this a little more quickly. Stack all these up. So after this, we'll be doing one more break of these because a second divisional has filled up. We'll do that, and then we'll go from there. Okay, good luck everybody. Now, there are a lot of variations here. I think it says like the, there's a code on the back in the small print. You should be able to check right there at the very bottom. So the ones that end in 4-3 are short prints and the one that ends in 44 are super short prints. And we'll, uh, I mean, eventually we'll, well, what we'll do is we'll have the shipping team kind of re-go through 
uh, when they're sorting things out to look at the bottom of these cards too and then be able to identify those cards. So these are, I like these future stars look right here. Lewis Brinson not with the Brew Crew anymore, but that card will still go to the Brewers. Willie Calhoun, former Dodger prospect. We'll kind of breeze through these cards. We'll all, we'll double check to see. Like if we if we miss like a numbered card, we'll be sure to pull that. Obviously, stuff like this will ship. Like this old school look here. Superstar Sensations, Syndergaard, there you go, I knew that was number, that looked different, there's Nolan Arenado, 40 out of 76 for the Colorado Rockies, that'll go to the NL West, that'll be for Derek, there's Kenta Maeda, King Kenta, ah, so Rays, you can enter this code for a trip to the 2019 Home Run Derby. It's pretty cool. If you don't have anyone to take, AL East, that would be William. William, if you don't have anyone to take, don't forget about this guy. And our first relic is Will Myers, a commemorative patch. 21 out of 50. Nice. Specifically created for this set. That's a cool look. So that's the NL West again. There you go, NL West, Eric. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll be fine by the summer of 2019, William. We've got we've got a, I don't even know where I don't even know where this year's All Star game is, let alone 2019's All Star. Someone look that up. What where where is 2018's All Star game, and where is the 2019 All Star game? when the cards are like back upside down and right side up. Just have to end up just breezing through these. Oh, this year is... This year's in DC. Future Stars Bregman out of 2018. It's Verdugo. A 
against Aaron Judge. Future stars. Aaron Judge. I already think he's a star. And we've got a piece of the jersey. Hanley Ramirez. Hanram. For the Red Sox. That's AL East. William L. with that one. Is that number? No, not number, but nice relic. And Big Rig saying that it uh, the All-Star Games in Cleveland in 2019. Cleveland, huh? That's where the National Card Convention will be. Maybe like a month after that, I think. A busy summer for Cleveland. No, I don't know. I think no, I think it goes back to Chicago in 2019. It's Cleveland this year. And there's our autograph. I was like, I was wondering where it was. Andrew Jones is your autograph. And that's delightful Braves edition of Andrew Jones. Not the Dodgers edition. I don't like the Dodgers edition of Andrew Jones. Braves edition of Andrew Jones, yes. Uh, that goes to the AL or NL East. That goes to EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, there you go. All right, that was Jumbo Box 1. All right, next one. So, just in, the, just in the interest of time, I'm going to try to move a little more quickly now. I think everyone kind of gets the idea of what they're going to get, what they can expect. So we're just going to fly through these, just picking out the uh, whatever inserts or whatever numbered cards are obvious. And obviously, definitely, we're going we're to hold on the, uh, we're going to slow down for the relics and the autographs and stuff. Nice, Slot Hibby's in the house. What's up, Silver Stacker? Silver Stacker also in the house. So we've got two of these breaks to go, ladies and gentlemen. And then it looks like the football mixer is going to be after two jumbo case breaks of Series 1. So it looks like these, these guys are going to take a minute or two. So bear with me here, but we're going to move a little bit faster and breeze through these cards a little bit more quickly. Just so this break doesn't end up being over an hour long. So like I said, we'll uh, we'll have our shipping team double check the backs and the uh, and the fronts for numbered cards, uh, as well as any short prints that I've missed, and they're usually indicated by a, that tiny little serial number. So it would just take too long to pretty much go through the break twice, front and back. So we'll let our shipping team handle that. I like that they have, uh, they include some relics in here too. Like these. Nice commemorative patch, Carlos Correa. I dig that look, I have to admit, I dig it. Even though it's a manufactured patch for this set, looks really nice. Nice Carlos Correa for the uh, AL West. Mary Lou with the L West. Nice 
The vintage inserts are always cool. Aaron Judge, we'll set those aside. And this side of the jumbo box. D.D. Gregorius, I think, is going to really benefit from that Yankees lineup, that new Yankees lineup. Giancarlo Stanton, right smack in the middle of that lineup. If healthy, I mean, I, I guess they could sit there for any team, but if healthy, could be a really crazy season for that entire lineup. You play fantasy baseball, something to keep in mind. Andrew Benintendi, AL East, Red Sox, goes to William. Feeling the autograph was going to come up. There's Max Freed for the Braves. Another one for um, Eric and the NL East. Congratulations. I think that should be it for... Should be it for the cards, unless there's like a bonus hit hiding in here. Next box, good luck. Has any big baseball news gone down? I don't think any big baseball news has gone down. After the after the big deal by the Brewers to get Christian Yelich and then sign a Lorenzo Kane in free agency. That was about it. I don't think any of the other big names have have uh, have happened yet. Everything else just seems to be rumors, conjecture. But nothing concrete at the moment.
All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. I like these future star cards, too. These are pretty cool. Future stars Cody Bellinger. He is indeed. Hopefully no sophomore slump for Cody Bellinger. That's what we're all hoping for here. At least the Dodger fans are. And we got a piece of Daniel Murphy's bat. 29 out of 99 for the Nationals. NL East strikes again. That is for EA Sports in the game. Uh, from FanRag, John Hyman saying in his weekly look on all 30 teams. That's pretty cool. Uh, 299, another one for the Nationals. You Darvish on the Raiders? On the Raiders? No, not on the Raiders. You Darvish on the radar for both the Cubs and the Dodgers, though with some caveats. I think some in the Dodgers organization and definitely the fan base. Uh, pretty lukewarm about you, Darvish, returning to the Dodgers, uh, at least for that amount of money that he thinks he should get or that they, they're going to get. I don't know if he's going to get that. And Dodgers really want to, uh, to protect that luxury tax threshold. They don't want to go over that. So I don't know how really, how serious they are about Darvish unless Darvish wants to sign like a like a one-year sort of show-me deal, which I don't, you know, in spite of his World Series struggles, I don't know if he necessarily needs to do that, or maybe he does. Maybe he does. Maybe he needs to be like, hey, I just, I, I didn't completely melt down in the World Series. I can still pitch pretty well. Maybe that's what he needs to do. Maybe that team will be the Dodgers. Dodgers still have... Although they, they saved a lot of money by moving Gonzalez and all these other guys around and getting Matt Kemp back from the Braves. So that certainly helped their uh, their payroll situation. But we'll see how uh, how what they can be what they can accomplish this offseason. We're just looking for the autograph. I feel like they seem to appear like right around like here. No, or this. That's pretty cool. Nice George Springer. All Star Game medallion. Sixty-two out of ninety-nine. That's pretty cool. A L West Mary Lou. Nice. Autograph? Autograph. J.D. Davis for the Astros. Once again, A.L. West and Mary Lou. 38 out of 50. See the different parallel around the border? Nice J.D. Davis.
So I think that should be it for the box. I'll kind of breeze through these. Kind of tell by the sides that there's no thicker cards or relic cards. We've got the autograph already. So let me move through these a little bit more quickly in the interest of time. We've got another case of this to do. So in the interest of time, move a little more quickly. Dwell on the hits a little bit longer though, of course, as always. All right, we are halfway through the six box break. Halfway there, good luck everybody. The overwhelming belief is that Chase Utley will be back with the Dodgers for another season. Utley who turned 39. Uh, I guess it, his slash line was 236, 324, and 405, which is like a, with most of those coming against right-handed pitching. He's a strong leader in the clubhouse. I guess that's guess what you have to do. Royals ownership was more than willing to move on from Eric Hosmer, though GM Dayton Moore is trying to do what he can to retain the core members of their 14-15 pennant winners. Moore is still hoping that Hosmer can be re-signed, though some cuts may, be need, uh, may need to be made to the Kansas City payroll to facilitate the first baseman's return. Yeah, where does Eric Hosmer end up? I'll bet he ends up going back to the uh, to the Royals. The Yankees continue to monitor the infield for second base or third base help and discussed Mike Moustakis earlier this week. Moose could uh, cost significantly more than some of the New, New York's other targets. However, uh, uh, which doesn't fit the Yankees kind of getting underneath that luxury tax threshold and they can, unless they can move other salaries. All right, next one. All right, good luck, everyone. Like our relic is coming up. And it's going to be a relic auto. Wow. Two out of five. You guys realize how rare two out of five is in, in a huge product like this? Three color patch and on card autograph. Two out of five. Freddie Freeman for the NL East. The Atlanta Braves, EA Sports. There you go, Eric. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! To get a train whistle out of a out of series one, that is that is definitely a rarity. Not very easy in a base heavy product like this. I, I know, and another Brave. This is this particular case is loaded with Braves. We got Kyle Schwarber, NL Central, Jordan with that one. So Jordan on the board with the non number Schwarber. Game used, two color patch.
And Paul DeYoung, another autograph. And that is for the Redbirds and the NL Central. It's another one for Jordan. A couple Jordans in a row. I wonder if we, I think we can expect maybe, or is this it? This might be, that might be it right there. There'll be another bonus autograph, some bonus relic maybe. No, is that something? It's not a blank card. Bonus, nice. I, I know these are all, they, these are specifically manufactured for this particular set, but I like it. Uh, another one for Jordan and the Reds. All right, any other surprise in this box? Maybe. Maybe it'll give us another autograph. It's a possibility. Let's see what they. Let's see what it has for us. like that's it for this box. Nice box though, excellent. Always nice to score a little train whistle out of this break. All right, two boxes to go. Hub, what is going on? One in the house. Last box, we're almost there. Good luck, everybody. Kip, Kip, hooray! What is going on, Kip? All right. Almost there, folks. Almost there. Well, good. Kip's just like, same old, same old. He's got the routine. Work and work is the routine. Well, I'll tell you what, Kip. That is better than, uh, better than no work, right? It's nice to have nice things. <laughs> Be able to get into a little case break or two every once in a while. Always, <laughs> well, no, it keeps you, keeps you, uh, keeps you in business, Kip. Wait, Kip, what what organization 
are you with now? I know you've you've moved around a couple of times. I think I've forgotten where you had ended up settling into. Uh, Michael Conforto, New York Mets, game use memorabilia, two color patch. That goes to the NL East for EA Sports. It's in the game. NL East doing very well in this break. Ah, right. Oh, well, Kip, once the wall's up, Kip, Kip's at U.S. Customs and Border Protection on the East Coast. Oh, well, they should just put a wall. Oh, they're going to put a wall in the Atlantic, right? Nice Nolan Ryan. And look at this, Ahmed Rosario. It's another one for the NL East. Nice. Nice Ahmed Rosario. I know, Kib. Hey, we're stimulating that economy. right and Ramos Nice Chris Bryant. This is a blue parallel right here. It just looked like there was something different. I'll still sleeve it up. I thought it was going to be numbered. I thought it was a special. It still might be a special. Oh, is that right, Kip? Oh, you think you're better than them, Kip? Kip's just like... Kip's like, I do, I do custom stuff. You know, I don't do ice stuff. Nice Aaron Judge. And I don't know, I'm a sucker for these medallions and stuff like that. Corey Kluber for the Indians. AL Central on the board. Dennis. AL Central? <laughs> Why am I blanking on it? See, my head's still in football mode. Football, basketball mode. You know, so. Yeah, Central. There you go. Just got to get, my, get myself in a baseball state of mind, ladies and gentlemen. Spring training going to be happening really soon. I don't think we've done divisional break in a while, too. It's Aaron Judge, Justin Turner. I guess that's the only autograph, maybe, that Ahmed Rosario. And the last bit here. There you have it. And the last box coming up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we finish this break, let me know what, what is your who's your uh, who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite baseball team? And I guess in in one short sentence, like what do you what do you expect from them this season? 
What do you hope from them? Your hopes and dreams for your baseball team in one in one short sentence. Tyson Mariners, nothing. Oh. For the Dodgers, I understand, you know, I understand that the odds for the Dodgers to go back to the World Series, and even the Astros to go back to the World Series is very slim. Like, teams just going back to back to the World Series, let alone the two same teams, is uh, the odds of that are extremely low. Uh, so, I'm not sure if I exactly, you know, I don't know if I exactly expect them to go. I mean, I'd like them to. I think they can. I think they still can. You know, but Dodgers is my team. My quick sentence is... Uh, Do, do a lot with a little, I think. I think a lot of teams are like really building up their, their free agency. They are signing a lot of expensive players, making big deals. The Dodgers haven't really done that this offseason. But I think they're pretty confident about what the existing team that they have left. So they're counting on the young guys you know, with little experience to step up and do a lot. Bellinger in his second year. Corey Seager in his third year. Guys like Verdugo, Walker Bueller, et cetera, et cetera. TJ in the house, you think. Oh, he wants to... He wants a Tulsa Drillers championship, a, do a double A championship. I can do that. Kips, Kips Orioles guy. He's like sustained mediocrity. He says. Eric O says the Braves in a playoff berth. That could, that, I feel like that could happen. I feel like that could happen. Braves have a really good young core. That one's numbered. Michael Conforto out of Guys like Dan's V. Swanson should be fine for the Braves. I think the Braves could be pretty great in the next couple uh, in the next couple years. I think they'll go bigger in free agency next year, more than people may think. With a with a young core, new stadium, and the Braves have been known to spend a little money. I don't think they're afraid to do that. There's Jason Hayward for the Cubbies. The autograph is going to be Dominic Smith. Rookie auto for the Mets. Another NL East for Eric. Wow. There's a number right there, 97 out of 99. NL East has just been crushing it. So I think that might be it. Let's kind of breeze through these cards. Maybe there'll be like a bonus uh, relic or something like that. You never know. Yeah, the NL East really cleaned up this case, right? Watch the next case, we'll have no NL East players. <laughs> mm. 
There you go. That felt different. 45 out of 99. There's sort of a, see that matte finish to that? The canvasy sort of finish there? Red Sox, AL East. William with that one. Oh, yeah, there's something right there. Oh, that must be that, uh, it must be that logo card, right? That one? So we'll breeze through these. And through these. All right, and the last hit. Good luck, boys and girls. Last hit. It must be one of those medallions. Behind Daryl Strawberry is... Joey Votto, Cincinnati Reds, from the uh, little uh, medallion commemorating the All-Star Game last year in Miami. Bienvenidos a Miami. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, everybody. That's it. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We've got more baseball, football, basketball, all sorts of fun stuff. Another divisional coming up, and then the Super Bowl mixer. We'll see you for those next breaks in a different video. Bye-bye.